Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just tonight, somebody posted this and was asking how to do this. And to me, it's so much easier just to make a video. This is a pretty nice breadboard or cutting board. I don't know that you'd ever use it with these engraved marks on it, but it it is a pretty neat. And you don't have to use it. I mean, you could use this on anything. So I very quickly recreated this. I didn't use the exact font. I did use Time New Romans. But anyway, we're going to move all the way over here. i tell you what we're going to do. We're going to move these out of the way. And we're going to put our W in the center of the page. Hit the letter key, P. Now, with your text selected, or your letter selected, go up, no fill, right fill. I've got mine set on hairline already. The width of this is 20.53 inches. So we're going to make a rectangle, real skinny one. I can't remember what it was, 20.53. So we want this 20.53, and then it'll be about the same as our deal, as our text. Put it in the center of the page. Hold down the Control button and move it straight up. Make a duplicate. Hold down the Control button and move it down. Now they're going to be equal. Now you need to, before you do anything, you need to take your text and convert it to a curve. Then... What I always do, I'm going to make a duplicate of this letter in this stuff. Just in case I, I take away some lines that I shouldn't have and I get too far and I can't get back. So then just take your virtual segment delete key and start deleting some lines. We don't want these lines for sure, we know. Just get on the line. What happens, the, the rectangle is stopping it from happening from going past. We don't want these interior lines because you could actually fill them in with black, but it'd be a lot better to have one solid black. And we don't need this top line. So we don't need the top line on the top one, and we don't need the bottom line on the bottom one. So zoom in here a little bit. Delete these sidebars. I always delete the little lines first because you accidentally are going to do that sometime. You know, make sure you're on that line because it's a lot easier to hit the big lines. Now we want to delete these bottom lines real easily. And you're already done. That's how fast. Take your Smart Fill tool, fill it in with black. And then just pick you a font. I did, uh, now this font probably won't work in this case because I've got it too big. So what you want to do is take your font out of the way, control G on your keyboard to group that together and just make this a little bit smaller. That way your font's going to fit in there a little bit better. And then you can group it and change it to however you feel necessary. Anyway, that looks pretty good, and you're done. Then group it together, control G, and then you can make it whatever size you want. It'll be proportionate. And you could still ungroup it and change this font to whatever you want it to be. You know, that, you, know you, you want something cursive. Uh, you, know, you just have to play around with what you want. I don't like that one, but I'm not going to take the time in the video. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.